So you probably know the temperature and weather conditions somewhere around where you live, but what about the temperature in your own backyard or right outside of your home? And better yet, what if your home could know that temperature and conditions too and make automations based off of that? Well, that's exactly what the new Eve Weather sets out to do and it supports Thread. Let's talk about the details. My name is Eric Wielander, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to take a closer look at the Eve Weather. Now this is a new product from Eve, which is a smart home company that makes all kinds of cool stuff that supports HomeKit, and they're based in Germany. Now Eve has made the commitment that they're moving their product line over to support Thread. Now Thread is a new wireless standard in the smart home, which ultimately will take the load off of your Wi-Fi network and other wireless standards and create this new mesh network inside your home, which will just improve reliability and speed and reduce energy usage for a lot of your smart home accessories. So the Eve Weather is a new product that supports thread and it replaces the Eve Degree, which was their previous outdoor weather station. Now I wanna give a special thanks to Eve for sending this product out for me to review with no strings attached. This is my honest opinion. So one of the most noticeable improvements Eve made with the weather over the degree is a slightly larger display, which allows them to put not only the temperature on the screen, but also the humidity and a little graphic showing the potential weather conditions coming up. This sensor is powered by a CR2450 battery, which is supplied in the box, so you don't need to worry about that to get started. And of course, it's meant to go outside, so it's IPX3 weather resistant, uh, which means that it can take a decent dose of pretty much any type of weather, but you don't wanna just submerge this in water all the time or something. Uh, it's probably best to put it maybe like on in a patio or or some kind of a you know slightly covered area outside. Uh, ideally also where you can see it from the inside of your home. So then you can glance at the display and get the temperature along with all the home automation and HomeKit integrations we'll talk about in a minute. Now, I mentioned earlier about the thread support in the Eve weather, but if you don't happen to have any thread supported devices in your HomeKit home yet, uh, this would be a thread endpoint, so it can also connect your home with Bluetooth. For installation, you wanna go ahead and download the Eve app first. Now, this is a great app to keep on your phone as a companion to the Apple Home app going forward, not only for the special feature that it unlocks with this Eve weather, but also just for managing your HomeKit home. It can do some cool stuff with automations that the home app can't do, uh, but again, it's all reading the same HomeKit database. So you find the add device screen inside of the Eve app, press the activate button on the back of the sensor, scan the HomeKit code, and you're off the races getting this device set up. So you can see the temperature and humidity inside of the home app for this device, but it also reports air pressure. And you can go ahead and read that inside the Eve app. Now, in order to get an accurate reading of the air pressure during setup, the Eve app wants to know your elevation of where you're putting the sensor. You can either give the Eve app access to your location, in which case the iPhone can figure out your elevation for you, or you can just specify it manually. Now comes to placing the sensor. Eve doesn't supply any kind of screws in the box for mounting the sensor, and it's probably because they don't really know what kind of material you're gonna be mounting this into. There is a standard picture frame style hole on the back of the device, so you should be able to fit a lot of standard nails or screws into there for mounting. Now, one tip I have for mounting this and pretty much any kind of sensor you might put in your smart home is I like to use painter's tape to sort of uh, test different locations I might wanna mount something. Painter's tape is, you know, that blue tape you get at the hardware store and it helps you get clean lines as you're painting. And it generally doesn't leave a mark on things, so you can put it up, but it just has just strong enough of a stick to get something to stay there for a few minutes. Uh, and that's, you know, can be enough to give it a shot. And even for things like motion sensors, I'll use painter's tape for a period of days just to get an idea of if the motion sensor is in the right spot before I actually secure it to the wall. So once you find the place you want to put your Eve weather, it's simply just putting a hole wherever you want to mount it and you're good to go. So 
what's it like to use this Eve Weather and why would you want to have something like this right outside your smart home? Now, of course, you can ask Siri for the temperature and humidity, and that's just a nice convenience to get that uh, at whatever room it is in your home kit home. So I have a room in my home kit home for my front yard, and so I can ask Siri what's the temperature in the front yard, and it will read from that sensor. It could also be kind of fun to add this value to any kind of, let's say, of good morning or good night shortcut that you might have that sort of reads through your calendar appointments for the day uh, and then also can tell you what the current temperature is outside your home. So I'm here in the Eve app looking at my front yard room and I want to show you the added features you get inside of that app. So if you open it up you'll see a nice line graph of historical data of the temperature and then you can also expand out the humidity and expand out the air pressure, barometric pressure, and see the same thing. Now, Eve will actually use this historical data to give uh, predictions of what uh, it thinks will happen over the next 12 hours. It's just a, a local prediction based on your data. Uh, again, it's not a complete weather forecast. You'll want to go to other sources for that, but it is a nice addition, I think, with the Eve weather. And of course, they put that in the icon on the display as well. So I want to go ahead and create a new rule here in the Eve app, and it's going to be based off of the temperature outside my home. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rule and uh, Eve defines automations in HomeKit with triggers, conditions, and then scenes they start. So for triggers, I'm gonna add a trigger of a particular time of day. So I'm gonna say when I go ahead and get up in the morning to come down here to work on uh, my projects, that's gonna be at about 4.30 in the morning. So let's just say at 4.35 a.m., I'm gonna add something for every day and I could add another trigger, but then I'm gonna hit next and add a condition. So I'm gonna add a value condition for my front yard temperature sensor. And so if my front yard temperature outside is below 35 degrees, that means that it's probably pretty cold in the basement. And I wanna turn on my space heater for a little bit just to warm things up before I get into the office. You know, I'm already awake. So, you know, if something went really wrong with the space heater, I'd probably be able to uh, figure that out pretty quickly and deal with it. It's not like I'm still asleep. And so I hit add and then it adds the uh, temperature for uh, condition for this. And so then I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and that's gonna trigger a scene in HomeKit. Now it's good to tie your automations in HomeKit to scenes. It just makes them more maintainable over time. So I've created a scene called space heater on um, and then I'm gonna call this, uh, give this rule a name. So now we have our warm up the office automation. Every morning at a particular time when I'm usually getting up, if the temperature is below a certain amount outside, it's gonna go ahead and turn on the space heater in my office. Now, I also have smart fans in my home that are controlled with Lutron Cassetta wireless fan controls. And I could also create a similar kind of reverse automation of if the temperature outside is above a certain amount, I can turn on the fans in the home automatically. Uh, there are many different things you can do. You can also play in with the humidity and, uh, you know, kind of figure out like if the humidity is above a certain percent, maybe you don't need to turn on your smart sprinkler. You know, the possibilities go on and on depending on what other accessories you have hooked up to HomeKit. This sensor does have some areas I'd like to see improved. One of them is the glare on the display. I've just been getting really bad reflections on my display. It is still possible for me to see it from the inside, but I think if they could make some more contrast on the LCD, uh, that would be nice and just making it easier to see from afar. I also think the historical data in the Eve app is really cool, but it's the kind of thing that screams for an iOS widget. I just want to have a widget on my home screen with that historical data. I know that the sort of performance envelope you have to run within for a widget is very slim, so I don't know if they'd be able to pull that off, but it'd be pretty cool if they could. I'd also love to see this sensor integrate with services like Carrot Weather. One of the competitors to this, the Nadatmo Weather Station, which also works with HomeKit, and does have some additional sensors like a rainfall sensor that does also integrate with Carrot Weather. Now, it's not as simple and compact as a pro of a product as this Eve Weather. And that's really where I think this is nice is that it's a very simple, straightforward sensor, easy to set up, and it gives you a lot of great data and possibilities for automation, especially on the most important element of automation, which is the temperature. 
Now, is this worth an upgrade if you already have an EVE degree? Well, I would say it depends on your use case. Uh, it is nice to have the thread radio connected. I do like uh, the idea of having air pressure and humidity. So, you know, I, I think it depends if you already have an EVE degree, but I think if you are looking to do some automations in your home based on weather and you just wanna make it easier to see what's the actual temperature and weather right outside my door, uh, this can be an easy, simple way to add that to your smart home and it comes with some nice historical data and stuff inside the Eve app and of course ways to automate it in HomeKit. Now of course if you're getting the Eve weather you're going to want to have some other thread devices in your home particularly what are called thread routers. Now one of the uh, most prominent thread routers out there right now is the HomePod Mini and I recently did a video talking through some of my top tips of the ways that I use my HomePod Minis that I've been using for several months now so check that video out it's linked here on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already for more videos about smart home and Apple automation and all kinds of great stuff around that. And I'll see you in the next one.